Hi everyone, it's Soraya. So as you can see, I'm starting off with a canvas that I was experimenting with. Didn't turn out what the, the way I thought it was going to. So I just decided to um, do something a little bit different. So I poured the, the colors down, basic gray, white, dark blue, black. And, um, and then I spread it out with my uh, palette knife. And look at the beautiful cells that were coming up. But I didn't want to stop there, so just keep watching. I'll show you what I mean. This does end up changing quite dramatically, so just keep watching uh, to see the progression of it. So there was enough color on there that I could pick it up and actually move it. And uh, you'll see how pretty this looks in just one second. Now, because I had so many cells, once I picked it up and tilted it, those cells stretched out and became bigger cells and it looked really good. So I thought this was looking very, very nice, but the more I looked at it, the more I wanted to take out my hair dryer, and I'm glad I did. It turned out quite beautiful after I blew it out. So I was going very slowly and taking my time, really thinking about it, and I almost wanted to stop right at this stage. I thought it looked really beautiful, but I kept going and I really wanted to show you step-by-step step everything that I've been doing um, every step of the way so that you can see the progression of this painting. It's a shame that some of those beautiful cells got covered up, but I was really lucky that not all of them did and a lot of them did pop back up. Okay, here it is and I really love what I'm seeing here. I'm going to definitely enhance it. I'm going too fast because I'm excited. Um, lots of cells, look. Really beautiful. So, uh, just one second, I'll be right back. It dried beautifully, and I can't wait to start working on it, which I'm gonna do right now, just one second. That is raw sienna. I'm gonna start with that, I think. I think I'm gonna add some of this uh, light blue Artist Loft, maybe some turquoise green, and maybe some azo yellow is that yeah azo yellow yellow <laughs> azo orange maybe or my, maybe i should do yellow since i'm thinking of it okay i'm grabbing the yellow as well cadmium yellow deep hue let's see what happens and also i'm going to use some matte medium so i take a little bit of the um color and dip a little bit into there and that's it that's all i do so as i start adding the colors i really am thinking about where the colors would benefit the painting the most I felt this area was the most dramatic in the painting and as such it deserved a lot of attention. Right now I'm just adding some of the um, raw sienna with some Liquitex matte medium to the dark areas. 
I'm adding the light blue again with some of the Liquitex matte medium. Um, I had a bit too much there and so I wiped it off. When I create a hard line, I also like to kind of spread the paint out and soften it up, uh, let it blend with what's happening around uh, the rest of the painting. These details create a lot of interest in an area that would normally just be left uh, very bland and with nothing much happening to it. I'm just picking out areas that's already there and working with it to highlight it and create that focal point that I want there. I'd be interested to know if you're going to try this out. Leave me a comment or if you're posting on social media, just tag me or um, give me a shout out or something so that I know to look it up and uh, see how things went for you. As you can see, I'm really taking my time and adding a lot of detail there because there is so much going on on the other side. I wanted to balance it out with some more detail uh, on this side of the painting, uh, but not as dramatic as uh, the left side. At this point, I'm not adding any of the Liquitex matte medium because um, it would make it too transparent. I want to see that full blue, light blue color coming through. I have up close images coming up um, so you can take your time and really take a look at the uh, details of the painting so keep watching for that. Whenever there are kind of patches, let's say they're void of color, sometimes they're black or white or dark blue, whatever it may be, I like to uh, do something in that area to create interest. Otherwise, it's just a dark area with nothing happening. Same with this gray. It was just a big patch of gray. If you add uh, variations of uh, colors in there, it becomes a lot more interesting. So as you can see, I have moved on to the turquoise. I did, did decide to use it. Um, I like the variation of colors uh, with the light blue, the dark blue, and uh, that little bit of greeny blue. The turquoise really uh, works well with this color combinations. Sometimes, depending on the effect that I want, I do add a tiny, tiny bit of water to the paintbrush uh, along with the paint. This time I didn't. If I needed uh, to have it transparent, I used the Liquitex matte medium. Here's a perfect example of an area that was just dark and not much. And by adding that bit of turquoise in there, uh, made it very interesting, made it uh, ethereal looking, very interesting. I'm also going to use the titanium white. 
Out of all the colors that I use, uh, white, I guess is a non-color, is the one that I use the most. I go through tubes of it um, because it helps provide a beautiful contrast. Whenever you have a color, you add white, it gives you the, a really uh, good contrast. And I love contrast, so I'm always working towards uh, creating that dramatic effect. I have been told that my paintings are very spiritual in uh, the way they look, and I find that that is a compliment. Um, what do you think? Are they? Leave me a comment. Let me know. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe, or maybe you've come and visited me and you just simply forgot. Please subscribe and give the video a thumbs up. That really helps me a lot. I also have a ton of information in the description area. Check it out. And in addition, I also have a ton of other tutorials for you to help you achieve beautiful artwork. So on to the yellow and look what a difference it made adding just tiny amounts of it throughout the painting. Uh, really, I was concentrating on this dramatic uh, area, but I did place it throughout to balance it out. I'm creating a vertical line to really drive home the point that this is the focal point. You can see that my brush uh, has some uh, teal on it. I don't always clean my brush in between colors. Adding the white to the teal created a very nice um, lighter color. I went back over some of the areas where I had put yellow and added a bit more turquoise to tone it down just a little bit. Sorry about my phone, I forgot to silence it. I'm adding touches of the raw sienna in the foreground of the painting to balance it all out. These details make a big impact to the overall painting to make it aesthetically pleasing. The last few touches is with the azo uh, orange. <laughs> I keep wanting to say yellow, azo orange. And um, it looks a little bit like the raw sienna, but it's a little, it is a bit brighter. And um, it's that finishing touch that really stands out. In the end, I used all the colors that I showed you, and I do love the effect that they have on this painting. Here's a, some up close look. And doesn't this area look like it's glowing? Beautiful. I love the juxtaposition of that dramatic area to this beautiful calm area. And then this vertical line is the area that is emphasized as the focal point. I've got up close images, so keep watching for that. 
and click on the link you see now to see more of my tutorials.